What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create checkpoints. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is create the checkpoint blueprint itself. So let's go to the content browser, just right click, go into the blueprint class, and just create an actor. In this case, this will be called BP underscore checkpoint. And let's go ahead and just open this up. Now I did not even type it correctly. <laughs> uh, okay, checkpoint, there we go. Okay, so now what I am going to do is add a simple static mesh just to kind of have a, you know, thing to move around the level, okay? In this case, it doesn't really matter what it is. It is, you know, going to be our uh, checkpoint for now. So in my case, I'm going to have this, for example, this rotation handle full, which we like our kind of checkpoint door, <laughs> okay? And let me see if that's a good size for us. Yeah, that would be okay. Well, a bit bigger, uh, so maybe like 1.3 uh, in, in all axis. So let's make the lock 1.3 up. You know, just to make sure. I think that would be that would be great. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is add a collision. In this case, it will be a box collision, and let's call this trigger because this will be a trigger when the player passes through this collider. We'll basically go ahead and assign the checkpoint. So let's make this way thinner. And you know, just expand it overall a bit through the checkpoint and also taller. Kind of like this will work. And then make sure that this is set as overlap or dynamic. Now let's go to the own component begin overlap, which is when an actor enters. I'm gonna check if this actor is the player. Now, a uh, very simple way is just to cast to the third person character or whatever player character you're using. Okay, so if it continues, that means that it is indeed the third person character because if not it will not continue um, and in that case what we want to do is assign the checkpoint so let's go into the game mode all right so a way to find the game mode is just to go to wall settings game mode search it and open this up let's open the full blueprint editor and create a new variable and it's really last checkpoint i don't know why i never put the e there we go. So last checkpoint. In this case, this variable will be type of BP underscore checkpoint. Okay, let me to. There we go. And it will be an object reference. So that will be our last checkpoint. And now on the uh, you know blueprint itself, I want to get the game mode cast to the third person game mode or whatever game mode you are using. And then from that, I am going to set the last checkpoint variable to be in this case self as we are in the checkpoint that we have just gone through so when the player passes we should basically go ahead and assign it to the game mode now we can just simply create a, a sound and just play it so for example this one you could you know put some Niagara effects on whatever not gonna go very crazy but basically now when I pass through here uh, you can see that nothing happens and this Wow, this, <laughs> this is an interesting object. You can see it's like rendered up on top of everything. I have never seen that before. Um, okay, so we can change this. Instead of being a gizmo material, it can just be a normal material. <laughs> so let's just put, for example, I don't know, base material. And use this one, right? And that should, uh, yeah, there we go. So now it doesn't render on top. Uh, you can see that we cannot go through. This is because this mesh itself has a collision. So let's double click on it. Go and you say remove collision, save and close. Now you can see that we can go through our trigger and we play the sound. I don't know if you heard it, but we played the sound. So now this game mode uh, should have the, that you know specific checkpoint. Okay, so now let's go into third person character. We're going to do is just uh, in the event any damage. So when our player receives damage, I am directly going to go ahead and just kill him. Okay. So in this case, I can just make him ragdoll. So let's just set similar physics. So we're just going to, you know, ragdoll to the fall. Uh, mesh. This will be as uh, expanded custom and then uh, collision enabled for in physics. So all the bones will collide. Very important. And then with that said, I'm going to just uh, disable the input. Okay. Great. So with that said, when we die, that should happen. So I'm going to just say debug key one. So when I press my uh, key, I'm going to apply damage to 
myself, okay? So in this case, it would be self. And we have to pass, even though we don't have a health system, we have to pass at least a bit of damage, a number here. So let's play just one. And you can see that now when I press one, our character just dies and we cannot move anymore. Great. So now we need to make the respawn system and it will go into the last checkpoint. So for that, once again, let's control that in the game mode. And I'm gonna just go ahead and just right click, be respawn player. And for that, I'm gonna just get uh, sorry from here get player character and then just go ahead and you say destroy actor and then from that I am going to go ahead and say spawn actor and class in this case it will be our BP third person character or whatever character you're using and then the uh, transform will be our last checkpoint but what we can do to put it precisely what we want is to create here a scout mesh and this will be the pause so where our player will spawn so on here we could put for example our many simple uh, without any collision at all looking forward so at minus 90 and just a bit up here so it will perfectly go ahead and spawn in this position and i can use very importantly go ahead and set hidden in game to true so it will not appear when we play the game okay so let's uh, compile this go back here and say get ref uh sorry i think i named it post go down you will see here and now from that i can say get weld very important it has to be weld transform i can just plug it there uh, but in terms for size i just want to leave like this so let's expand and just put this location and rotation and here it will say it's always spawn in all collisions uh, and that should go ahead and in theory work so let's go into a third person character and right after we die, I'm gonna go ahead and just make uh, a delay of maybe like around two seconds and then I can get my game mode and then cast the third person game mode or whatever game mode you're using and then go ahead and you say respawn player. So all this should work. If I now press play, very importantly, you have to pass through the checkpoint and then press one, you die, I wait two seconds, you can see that we spawn. Now, I am a bit underground, <laughs> and also the player has not been uh, assigned, like I cannot play with it. That's because we have to go back in the third person, and you say, uh, get player controller, set possess, and it will be possessing this player. So possess in our view is like controlling the player, so we're setting uh, this player to be possessed. In this case, I want to also uh, make this a bit higher. Okay, so it will not go through the ground. So that should be said. If I now die, I should go ahead and respawn. You can see that I can play back. So everything is going ahead and working, which is very, very, very cool. Now, one thing that we're gonna make sure is that if uh, in third person game or if this last checkpoint, okay, is not valid. So let's go ahead and just drag it and set if it's valid, we'll continue. That means that it has been assigned. But imagine that we die before passing any checkpoint. Or in that case, I just want to go ahead and uh, spawn an actor uh, in the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 of the world. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can create a spawn pause when you die initially, but that will basically stop it from being bugged. And I'm gonna just copy and paste this over here and put this here. Okay. So that will prevent any errors if we haven't gone any through any checkpoint. Uh, but that's it, guys. So you found this tutorial helpful. I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. Uh, my Patreon and YouTube members will contain all the files for this project. So you can go ahead and check it. And with all I said, uh, check out my Discord server, like and subscribe. And that's it. Bye-bye.